SEO tools. In this video session I'm going to introduce to you some of the tools that is all worth and I'm also going to show you the ones that is just going to waste your time. Now, I've got Chrome open here and if we go to Chrome Web Store and type anything like Google PageRank then we'll end up seeing so many different tools and if we type SEO site tools or anything to do with SEO um, you'll basically have unlimited amount of tools um, that apparently is gonna make your keyword ranking quicker or more successful and so on okay and most of them will actually to prove a point most of them will actually show you this Alexa toolbar here right like stats from Alexa few years back people used to perhaps install um, Alexa toolbar I think you know at its peak about 20 million people downloaded it because a few years ago there wasn't that many apps and so on right but in 2014 and beyond you know who uses this toolbar who installs Alexa toolbar not many people do despite the claim that these people make okay the data that most of the tools will show you from Alexa it's just gonna waste your time okay and the stats that you're gonna look at it's gonna be misleading so therefore you know uh, let's open up um, Firefox here as we can see if we search for SEO tools or SEO software um, you will have so many of them as we can see okay we've got so many different ones another one we've got so many different ones you know this checker that checker check this and check that and by the time you finish checking you'll be thinking to yourself oh my goodness you know I wasted all my time and so on okay um, so therefore let's close the ones that we don't need that is going to waste our time okay now this one here is a freely available software it has limitations but nonetheless this particular tool is good for um, you know taking a look at your competitors website okay and the free version is good enough for you so I strongly encourage you to check it out because in this training course we will actually use it but remember this you know I suggest that you use this for checking your competitors website okay we've also got a free um, link checker which basically um, looks like this all you do is you enter the URL and check for broker broken links okay you can do this for your own website and also your competitors but for your own website you should know if you have broken links and fix them right but for whatever reason that if you aren't familiar with it then this tool freely available will do that job for you so that you can fix the broken links on your own site but also you can perhaps run um, link checking on your competitors to see you know how well they're maintaining their website and so on okay and just a brief look at that SEO um, frog SEO spider Sp screaming frog SEO spider okay all we do is we type the URL and press start now the reason I have chosen this to show you is not because I recommend this to you it's because it's free and also it is um, you know it doesn't overwhelm you with so many different information like some other tools some other SEO software and programs and so on okay because I used most of the other ones and I believe this is good enough and it um, you know goes down to the core of what is important but once again you use this for checking your competitors website okay and for your own website what you should be doing is utilizing Google webmaster tools okay um, this is the only tool that you will need as far as you know managing your websites standing um, against Google so to speak okay or you definitely need a Google account to to utilize this tool okay and if you're managing a website whether you're in a love-hate relationship with Google okay you want to rank your keywords in Google okay you know then you should definitely create an account with them and utilize the the platforms and services it makes available for you as we can see in Google Webmaster Tools there are many nifty tricks nifty insights that you can do 
okay you can also have a look at uh, HTML improvements because after you submit your site Google will actually show you if there's any improvements that you can make for your own website so therefore you know to analyze your website standing against Google you use Google webmaster tools okay but if you want to have a look at your competitors website and see where they are at this freely available tool as we've seen now this is good enough to do that and use this for your own website okay so um, another tool that I'd like to introduce to you if you aren't aware of it um, key pass password manager freely available open source um, program where you you can safely you know encrypt you encrypt your password to your online account so therefore this program does everything for you it has a main master password so it's really secure that means no one can open it unless they know your password and because you will be managing you know different profiles and accounts and so on online okay this free tool basically will save so much time once you get to use it and also it is very user friendly so therefore with a click of a button you are able to log in to all your accounts and so on okay and also it has a built-in password manager uh, because in 2014 you know you, you you should have strong passwords right and trying to memorize them all it's basically not possible okay so another tool that you you can use and you should and it's rather a must for any SEO projects is um, Google's own Google AdWords keyword planner tool but you need Google AdWords account you don't have to advertise with them you can create the account just to utilize this tool that it makes available for webmasters okay and to find that um, keyword of importance you know we can you know utilize different tactics like searching um, Google search box finding related searches or auto suggestions and so on but we what we will never know um, you know how many times a particular keyword is being searched and so on unless we utilize um, keyword planner okay and the fact that it comes from Google means that you the information as in the research data that it has available is basically the best on internet because it's Google who gets searched you know nearly six billion times per day although all that information will not perhaps be available um, in, in Google's keyword planner tool nonetheless most of them will remember anytime you do any research it is only ideas okay and is never hundred percent okay but you know there are many keyword um, suggestion or intelligence software out there where they ask money from you okay unless they get searched six billion times per day okay you're only gonna waste your money and time so therefore the only tool that you need as far as keyword research is this as well as your understanding of how to find the keywords um, you know by utilizing other methods which I will show you as well okay and another tool that Google has similar to um, keyword planner is called display planner this for Google's display network so therefore it will give us more ideas about the keywords and the, the market and the niche and how many times it's been searched and so on okay and the difference between the two um, to be honest with you not much but this particular tool will allow us to see other websites um, and what else and other, other other features as well okay so another tool or, that is of interest to us is backlinks we need to do backlink analysis okay um, there are many software out there that try and sell you all that information I assure you you don't need it keep your money in your pocket utilize this URL okay to check backlinks on your competitors and another one is backlink watch 
it has limitations as in if your competitor has let's say 10,000 backlinks okay then you this particular URL is going to show you I think it was um, 1,000 last time I checked if 800 or 1,000 okay so to check backlinks this is another freely available tool for you okay so therefore the only tools that is of interest is what I've just shown you okay anything else I believe will only waste your time and waste your money as far as SEO tools are concerned okay so um, I also want to you know quickly show you a couple of tips and tricks for backlinks okay let's say um, which URL are we taking as a sample URL in this training course it's this one here let's search this um, text in Google web search but do so wrap it within the quotes okay and then we'll put a space and we'll minus in URL colon and then we'll paste the same code meaning your domain or any other domain on internet okay is unique okay that means no one has this URL apart from the owner registrar so therefore when we conduct this search we're telling Google okay you know what Google look for this text but make sure you don't bring me any results coming from you know this URL okay I don't want this in the URL that's what we're doing when we put the minus in front of it. okay and let's do a search and as we see Google then said okay you know what all the results that I'm gonna show you it does not include this URL but it does include this text okay as we can see that's what we're doing when we search this now the reason I show you this is because you know let's say you identified one competitor for a particular keyword and then you've done a bit of backlink analysis on this site because this may bring you different results compared to this one Okay, by by the way they crawled the internet and stole that backlink information anyway, right? So because you will have two different um, backlink data in front of you, you know you may think to yourself, okay, you know what? Um, what else can I do? Okay, what we, as far as backlink analysis is concerned, right? So then what else you can do is you can you know utilize Google search, okay, to see okay. Um, you know where else this particular URL is mentioned because oftentimes um, some webmasters when they get a backlink they actually use the naked URL okay. this is called the naked URL okay whether it's with the WW version or not okay so because of that fact you don't need to rely on perhaps you know past this backlink analysis tools you can perhaps rely on your own searching capabilities and understanding because it is very simple so this video tutorial has been about SEO tools that is of interest and will definitely help you um, while you're ranking your keywords in Google I thank you very much for learning with me um, I'll talk to you in the next video session thank you bye bye